YouTube Electric Adventures here with another package in the mail, not from Japan. And look, it's a PlayStation 3, 40 gigabyte. No, they've just reused the box. The box is actually in reasonably good condition. A bit of tape. Um, I believe I've still got my box for my original PlayStation, so uh, this will probably go to the tip as a box. But anyway, in here is something that I wasn't particularly looking for at the time when I found it. Um, but came across it, browsing eBay of course, uh, as I shouldn't. Um, and it is actually a system that I've been very curious to have a play with. Um, have never played one in the flesh. So we've got lots of cables here. And they're all hardwired in. So without further ado, because otherwise we're not going to get very far, it is a Philips I'll hold it up the right way. Philips G7000 video pack computer or an Odyssey as it known in the um, Odyssey 2 as known in the States. It looks in reasonable condition. A little bit of sticker wear around the cartridge support. Um, it doesn't look like the, um, you know, the membrane keys too bad. Needs a little bit of a clean. Now of course you've got all the hardwired stuff. Now this is an Australian one, so Australian power plug, no problems there. And we've got our two hardwired controllers. So the cables don't look like they've been too distressed. Well, I haven't even really seen the controllers before. So you have analog controllers, so the button. It's a bit of a, you know, nostalgia play system. Um, I, mean, I might have seen it in a shop back in the day. So it just uses RF. So hopefully we should be able to tune in on that. It's actually an interesting thing that all of our analogue um, TV stations have been turned off now. And a lot of um, Australian, especially Australian um you know, consoles came out near our ABC TV, which was Channel 2 here, so very close to Channel 2, so you get a lot of interference from that, but that's gone now, so may actually end up getting a clearer picture than you would normally. Um, I didn't pay very much money for this, but the really good thing about this is that it comes with quite a few software titles. Um, I mean, these are all, you know, uh, early Atari 2600 are pr um, comparable titles, if you know what I mean. So we have Philips Video Pack Number Four up there. Now they are plastic, hard plastic cases. So Air Sea Water and come on, camera Battle, which looks like Combat, and they come in these Philips clamshells, which I actually got one of these exact clamshells for an MSX title I got recently. And here's the cartridge. I've got the, the handy handle. And I'm not sure um, how these systems go with region compatibility. I'll have to find out a little bit more of that. I'm a bit of a, a noob as far as this system's concerned. So we have manuals and they're basically multiple languages working your way through so you just follow the top strip for English it's got a few instructions in there and a couple of diagrams so well, as usual I won't put them back together while we're fiddling on the camera okay and next we have pack number 10 so the case is in really good there's a little, a little crack in it this is a golf one You might be all right. Mini golf golf, so not too bad. Mini golf golf games are not too bad. And then we have Cosmic Conflict. Conflict. It's like a bit of a early first-person space type title. That'll be good for a you know a bit of a fun play anyway. Uh, next we have 
depth charge it's got a middle picture as well and marksman so as you can see you know pretty simple graphics and next we have satellite attack I think I've might have seen a video of this before it's a bit like a bit asteroid like I believe so looking forward to playing that one And we have, oh, this one will be alright, Jumping Acrobats. Um, I'm just trying to think of the original arcade game that one's based off. Um, but it's quite fun. We, it's a bit, a bit like Breakout, really. And then we have, um, I haven't heard of this one, Dam Buster. Might be another Breakout or Get Across the... Um, obstacle course from one side to the other so it could even be a bit of a frogger clone they didn't have any licensed titles so they sort of made their own oh stone sling which would be like catapult we'll try and get the player from one side to the other side of the other. some of these might be two player only games and last but not least we have race spin out and cryptogram i don't know what cryptogram's got anything to do with two other car games so that's pack number one. I can actually read out the other numbers. So, you know, I've got a mini collection of the packs um, and a system um, supposed to be working. We'll see how we go with that. Uh, if it's not, I'm not sure how I'll go repairing it. But it, if it doesn't work, it'll be yet another project that I need to do some work on. But anyway, let's go give it a try. Here we go with our first um, Philips uh, video pack game, title number one which has Race, Spin Out and Cryptogram. We'll try the two car games, eh? Um, so we're only going to have a quick, um, you know, quick go at each one. So I think we press one. Okay. And it's really weird that the console doesn't have an on-off switch. Uh, you just put the, the cartridges in while it's turned on and press the reset button. I don't really like that. <laughs> but um, So a lot of people apparently um, had a bit of a look online and installed a little on off switch inside the cord. I've bought the parts to do that but I haven't had a chance yet. We'll go for school one. Okay. <laughs> so it's a straight. so not too bad all right I won't worry about the cryptogram one um, let's try the next title and next we have air sea war and battle so a bit of a uh, thing to combat so I'm just gonna look down here so reset and one okay on the plane up top and I'm dropping bombs Fly lower, there we go. Yay. Why am I getting negative things? I'm supposed to hit the subs, maybe. Oh, 
Oof, that was close. judge the thing but you can see it's actually capable of displaying quite a few colors oh I can slow down <laughs> hey I got a point yeah so it was the subs I've got to get so interesting little game let's try two that's the same. Uh, A. Ah, ah. So, I take this, it's going to be a two player game, so. This is like combat. Shots. I mean, for back in the day, this would have been very impressive. Had you hit down, that's the only thing I would. Hmm. Missed it completely. At least you don't get penalised for the shots you miss. So that one mainly has golf on a couple of different levels, so not a bad little game. Let's try the, let's try the next one. Right, here we go, Cosmic Conflict. Just the one game on this one. It seems to be random which controller they decide to. attention a little longer. 
This would have been good for a bit of fun back in the day, better than the pole machines. But you can see why. I mean, the machine's quite capable, but the library was mostly unknown games um, that were ripoffs of others. I mean, this is a little like Star Raiders, but it doesn't have the same depth as Star Raiders. You know, it's quite a shallow game where it's, you know, it's just, just a, a target sh sort of shooting sort of game, really. Necessarily going to make it. Star Command Ceasefire. So we won. Enemy destroyed. Yeah, so a nice little game that one. Let's try the next one. This is See, there's some you know, reasonably interesting concepts for some of the games. All right, let's try the next one. That was Stone Sling. Right, you hold it down, and then you release it. Now you're supposed to. spring the higher it goes or maybe ah it's the longer you hold it down so you've got no visual indication on the screen of how long you hold it down other than own, your own internal count in your head yeah, there we go. this would be a fun game of two players I reckon that um, it'd work quite well all right let's try the next game Okay, here we go, Dam Buster, which is a bit of a breakout sort of game.
suppose I could have done something novel like you know, read the instructions. Oh, I see the men are, are building the um, the dam back up again. fall off so almost back to a, um, you know, like a pong like game to get one that's a little bit more entertaining. Ah, miss. So you don't seem to be penalised for missing other than losing some time. Jumping acrobats, um, more likely a, a rip off of clown and balloon. Right. Tell you what, just every single game uses a different uh, joystick. Right. Use the control. So you put set, you, you move left and right with this, and use the button. So excellent. All right, let's try the next one. Now this is sort of like the asteroids clone, um, sort of. Where you can run into the guys and get a point, and your shield goes down for a second. Like that. And then you get the ones that sh chase you. ones on there. Um, there is, uh, you know, quite a good Pac-Man clone that Mark Vigil left a bit of Series Prime likes. Didn't get that one in this 
uh, a not too bad Space Invaders one as well. So there are lots of other games. I mean, the highest game I have is number 34. Um, I believe they went up to about 40. Um, so, you know, plenty of games out there. But I'm, I'm actually going to try and get some, a uh, couple more games for it and um, try and get some of those other groups. So very excited to have this, um, you know, piece of um, video gaming history in my collection and for it to work and give, you know, quite a decent signal out to the TV too. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks to all my subscribers and I'll catch you all later.